this video i'm going to talk about app access checker utility available within power platform admin center now what is the purpose of app access checker so as the name indicates it is used to check the access by a user within the power platform environment now basically it checks the application access for a user uh, and that is specific to a model driven app now what are the options which are available we can view whether the app will be visible to that user or not whether the user what is the license information for that specific user to access the app and some of the security details now this is kind of a hidden app it is not available just in the front screen you need to navigate to the environments go into the settings and then navigate to the user once you do that you will see a whole bunch of list of users available within that specific power platform environment now here uh, you will see a screen with a search box you just need to type in the either the username or just specify the email address of the user you want to check on now remember this is only available for model driven app and not for canvas app now this includes the app which is created by you or which the app which you have access on and also the system level app so what happens when you click on the details over here so i've given some sample examples over here some in blue some in red so red means people do not have an access or it is not visible to the user now if you click on details it will give you an information like one of the information which i can see over here it says that uh, the user has an environment maker role in one of the application block when i clicked on the details it gave me this error that user has access via app pass in one of the block uh, it says the user has system administrator role which is very common uh, when you start the power platform journey you give most of the people system administrator role and then you try testing the system and then once you are comfortable using the system then you start doing the security trimming in one of the detailed block i found this as an error uh, it says uh, the user has not been assigned any license please contact your system administrator so why would you use this app access checker now the first thing you will use app access checker once you deploy your solution into the say production environment uh, just to see uh, whether the user within your organization uh, will be able to access a specific app or not now if the user may not be able to access the application because either the user is not part of a security role or the user has not been given a specific license for him or her to access the application uh, then there is an another uh, message i got it's called as uh, role system customizer is license enforcement on is true so that means the user has a system customizer role and then the user will be able to see the application so it is also used to check if you are uh, you have been given some extra permission so if you have been given a extra permission like a system administrator system customizer post deployment then it is uh, wise to remove those role and then create a custom role uh, for your application so that the users only get the permission for a specific resources and not at a global level now let's jump into the demo now i'm in the maker portal make.powerapps.com and when i click on application on the left menu if i click on my apps i'm able to see around six apps so this, there are six model driven apps which i can see now why i have i can see model driven app because i have filtered by model driven app if i remove this filter then i will be able to see the canvas app as well now if i click on all and if i filter this down to just model driven app now you can see more model driven app now in my apps i was able to see just six applications when i click on all i'll be able to see more application now why because there are some applications like dataverse accelerator app power pages management solution health hub power platform environment setting which are all like kind of like a uh, owned by a system 
like you have installed it as a separate component or separate uh, application like power pages management has come up because i have installed power pages within my environment and that's why this application has come <clears throat> now how do we check the application access for a user for that what you need to do you need to go into say environment in the power platform admin center go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com navigate to a specific environment <clears throat> so this is the environment i will be going into so i'll click on settings and once you navigate to settings go into the user permissions section and go to users now from here you will be able to see which user has which licenses for that an app now just to show you, uh, if I select a specific user, say Adele, and if I run the diagnostics, then what happens is it will give you an information about the licensing details for a specific user. So it gives you an information like name, username, access mode, whether it is enabled or not, uh, and the results of fixes. So it says the user is allowed to sign in, the user has an active license, or the environment has per app plans, and the, this user is a member of the environment group now imagine if you have thousands of users now you will not be able to navigate through this list and run this diagnostic to understand what license the user has neither this screen will give you an information about a permission list what the user has so for that what you need to do is there is a hyperlink over here which says to validate user permission for specific apps go to app access checker okay so this when you click on this it will run a utility which will which will check the model driven app permissions for a specific user so if i click on app access checker then it will load the application in a separate screen and here you can type in the user id or email address so let me try out my name so i'll just type in my name the first name uh, i can even type an email address over here but i'll just type my first name and then i'll see what result it gives me so it gives me all the applications so as i mentioned to you while navigating to the maker portal that we have around 10 applications so it has given me the list of 10 applications over here in the screen and it is showing me that uh visible is yes yes this application pickleball is visible to me license yes security yes and why it is what is the reason for the security yes is girish Upil has created a right privilege on the app module table now app module table basically lists down all the tables within your power platform environment and on basis of that i am able to see this application now remember this is again just a model driven app listing now if i click on details i will be able to see that the reason i'm able to see this application is because i have a system administrator role that is the top level role and license enforcement on is true so that means uh, i've been enforced this license and also i have a system administrator role so that's a top level role and i'll be able to access anything now if i click on solution health up again i'll see the same information right so for all this application i'll be able to see the same information now let's try on changing to it changing the user so i'll just type in alex now if i click on alex now alex is a separate user with a separate permission set uh it will give you uh, the same information it says alex wilbur has created a right privilege on app module and if you click on detail now it will not show you system admin because alex has been given an environment maker role and that's the reason alex is able to view the environment so this is also an important piece of information to understand now let me uh, type in grady if i have a user named as, named as grady let's see uh, if i get this user's details okay now if i type grady now i can see that some of the information are red and some of them are blue so let's look into the one which is red so it says pickleball application is not visible for grady license is unknown and security is no it says grady Aki is missing read privilege so grady Aki does not have access to this particular application now if i click on the detail it says the app can be accessed via the app pass okay so this app can be accessed via app pass however as you see over here these are some of the applications which was not built by me but then it came as a part of installation of dynamics 365 apps or uh, some third-party application 
So for this application, now for Power Platform environment, if I click on detail, it says entity instance service plans dot count equal to zero is license enforcement is true. I have access to the first party application. So this is termed as a first party application and I have an access. However, I do not have access to all the custom built applications, right? So this is how you can get this information. Uh, and if I navigate to say other users, so I have another user called as Lee. So I'll just search in the information. I'm just showing you all what all different things you will be able to see. So if I click on details, then I can see that Lee has a system customizer role. And that's the reason Lee is able to view this information. Now, who are the other users? So let's let's look into Jill. So if I type in Jill, it says Jill again has uh, uh, no access. So it says it can this application can be accessed via the app pass. However, for the first party application, uh, Jill can access it and uh, the license enforcement on is true now the same thing happened for uh, one of the users so if i show you this user uh, say, say we have just seen jill jones uh, then we have grady uh, then we have miriam now if you see miriam from a microsoft 365 admin center perspective now the miriam cannot access the application so sign in is blocked for miriam and now, and that's the same reason Miriam is not able to app, uh, access the system. Now, if you see over here in the Power Platform Admin Center, Miriam has, has been added into the user section for that specific environment. However, when I search for Miriam, it says Miriam cannot access. Why? Because the license is unknown. That means the user is unable to sign in and the user does not have a specific license to access the information and user only has access to the first party applications now just to verify that what we can do we can go into miriam and then run the diagnostics and once you run the diagnostics one of the check will fail and this is the failing check which says the user is blocked from signing in unblocking users in microsoft 365 admin center and it'll give you some instruction set so this is how you basically use the app access checker within Power Platform environment to verify the security rule, to verify the license, and to verify whether the user has specific access to a model-driven app within that specific environment or not. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.